We have this whole big table for the three of you, uh, wherever you'd like to sit. Yeah, perfect. I'll sit down as well because these shoes are not made for standing. Okay. Hi. Hi. Good to have you back. Yeah, good to be back. Yes. Thanks. Yeah. And can you uh, please introduce your team? Or they can do it themselves, of yeah, course. Yeah, they can do themselves, of course. Marisha, go ahead. I'm Karin Zimlich. I'm background singer. The exceptional. <laughs> Cannot do anything without this girl. So, yeah. Welcome. <laughs> My name is Marusha and I'm head of press. Okay, well, so you just came off the stage yeah. for the second rehearsal. That's right, yeah. How do you feel? Well, uh, thrilled. I mean, uh, you gotta do it three times in a row and uh, you gotta do it well, so excited. Yeah, you have to take the energy up and uh, do yeah. it three times yeah. as good as you can because you have to take all the time that yeah. you are given. Yeah. How was it? Did you feel any pressure or was it just naturally? Well, if I'm honest, of course, a little bit, but we're getting there, you know. We're going to do a couple more times, uh, uh, one one take at a time, and yeah, sure, I'm, I'm pretty much looking forward to it. I'm truly excited to be here, yeah. So I know I talked to you the other day. And we were talking about the nature behind you on the screen. Did you have any time to look at it? No, not no. exactly. I would just really like to see what's happening in the background, but cannot see it. No, you're busy singing. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. You cannot do any, any shootings as well. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be surprised looking the performance after, probably. <laughs> well, I hope it's a nice surprise. Yeah. So, did you guys make any changes to the performance? Uh, you mean from the first the, yeah. the, the first version? We actually did, but I would prefer if Giga, uh, he's the co-author, would, would say a few words. Mm -hmm. Giga, he's sitting over there. Hey, <laughs> Giga. We, now we have a wonderful assistant that's coming up to you. <laughs> so tell us all about it. Uh, we're talking about the, uh, the changes the from the, the first changes, version. Yeah. Yeah. Or were you asking about the changes from the first rehearsal? Whatever you'd like. We can talk about the changes from the first version. I can rehearsal. talk about the changes from the, the first version, uh, which is um, the major changes that we added the uh, a cappella gospel part, which was not supposed to be in the final final version, but um, uh, it was supposed to be part of the larger 3, 330 version, the extended version, which is also on Anna's EP. Yeah. But we've heard so many good reactions. Uh, I remember even when we were recording, um, with with this uh, great group of singers, uh, uh, Michael Jackson singers, as we like to say, uh, and we we heard them sing the a cappella part. We were just, we need to include this. We need to make it happen, and we yeah. did it for the Eurovision. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, did they already see a little bit? Did they hear a little bit of what's going on here at Eurovision? Do you have any reactions from the choir already? From the choir? Yeah, from the from the gospel. I mean the. I, I think that probably everyone are are thrilled to be a part of it. Uh, as, as, as far as I am, um, as far as I uh, know, um, that Dorian Holly he said to to me uh, and Godspeed. He said before uh, before he said goodbye to me because we actually we never met and uh, it's it's. Uh, curious in these difficult times we're in that you, even if you don't know uh, someone you you get to uh, to know the the work and everything behind it uh, you know so that's that's something that COVID uh, uh, brought uh, in a good way yeah yeah and for you as well as a backup singer how is the this process for you because you know it might add as well a lot of pressure on the other singers in the performance of course but uh, especially i miss 
the choir with me yeah, yeah. while singing uh, yeah. my part I miss because there are from other sides yeah. although I hear them uh, but I think that the lead singer feels better if there's at least one live vocal with yeah. her to yeah. back her up yeah. yeah even if not standing on stage with her yeah. but to support it and I think the, the that the choir would, would be happy to be here too although there are too many of them yeah, yeah. exactly well let's hope in another world or time we will still see the performance with the choir that would be lovely as well yeah. um, so we have some questions coming in online if you are watching you can send us in your questions and I will get them through to my iPad we will try to answer as many of them as possible this one, this one is from Europhile Australia. How did your grandmother influence your choice of career? Oh, well, thank you for that question. Uh, yeah, my grand, my grandmother was actually the first one, the first woman who actually believed in me. You know, because I, I think that, I don't know, I have a feeling that. Um, we only have a few people uh, in, in this lifetime that supports you fully, you know. And my grandmother was one of them. So uh, she taught me how to sing in harmonies as well. And uh, she was just someone that encouraged me to do uh, better and to express myself uh, in the most creative way. So, yeah. We all need that person in our lives, exactly. right? Yeah, yeah, we do. So, how is it for you, head of press, to see all of this happening and evolving? How is the reaction back home? It's great. We're happy that uh, all the reactions are very good. So, we're thrilled to see what will happen on Tuesday. <laughs> we will. Um, another question coming in from Josh from Eurovision New Zealand for Anna. As a national representative, do you feel a sense of expectation from back home? Because I already heard they are quite proud of you, but yeah. do you feel that? Well, I would lie if I say I'm not uh, feeling that vibe, you know, because uh, uh, it's just that I'm, I'm, of course, representing myself with my music, my song, but as well representing my country in a way. So, of course, I would like to make my, my people proud as well. Yeah. Because yeah. how do you think your song is different than the other countries? Uh, different? I don't know what should I say about that. I mean, um, what I always prefer is to make things most natural as possible. Um, and always work on a long term. So, um, because I would, I would really like to continue with my career so in a 20 years or so, uh, I, would, I would be present, uh, not just he, now, today, at the Eurovision and, and now, but in, in a years that, that will follow, we will we'll try to always work on a long term. I think that that's the best way possible for the musician. You're in it for the long run. Yeah. 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 Um, so here's a question coming in, um, asking how do you relax before you go on stage? Oh my God! How how do I relax? Are you I relax don't relax. Before you go <laughs> There's just too many, too many. Hmm. Well, D Daria Schweiger, she she said to me, just trust. That's the most important thing, because you've got the whole team behind working their asses off. I would say their best, and um, and just uh, let it go, uh, enjoying on the stage. Yeah. I think that's the best. Because uh, what's your ritual? Like, uh, is it for uh, the 10 minutes you go up that nobody can talk to you? Like you're in the zone or <laughs> are you surrounded with people? Maybe you pray before you go on stage. I How do. does it look like? I do. I do. I do. I, I brought my, my, my cross and I'll probably have it on me while, while the performance. I don't know. That helps. Yeah. To yeah. keep calm. Yeah. Um, so, how proud will your country be if you make it through the grand final? Who I don't know. You should you should ask uh, the Slovenians. Country. Yeah, the country. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so Slovenia, tell us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I I mostly hope that they they are gonna be proud of me. Yeah, I believe so as well. Uh, so this question is coming in from Azerbaijan. Yeah. 
Hi dear Anna, if you had a chance, with who would you like to exchange your songs this year? To exchange, well, I, I'd That's say a the black question, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, so the black mamba, they are Ooh. exceptional. I mean, so so soulful, uh, and they are telling the story, right? Yeah. So the black black, black the black mamba definitely. Uh, and another question coming in from Joe from ESC Bubble. Yeah. What is your favorite Slovenian entry of all time? Uh, of all time, I would say Daria Schweiger with Pris Prisluhnimi or Nusha, Nusha Dorinda, Energy. Yeah, these two. Mm -hmm. So I think there is some time for a question here in the room. Would you please stand up, sir, and please introduce yourself and ask your question, of course. Hello, I'm uh, Janis from Greece, from Eurovision Fan. Congratulations, Anna, Hi. for an amazing second rehearsal and your great voice. Hi. I would like to ask uh, all these uh, landmarks we see in the bridge of uh, the song, in the background, have any connection with your song or they have been selected uh, randomly? The landmarks in the screens in the background. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's something I'm I'm also, also as well interested in asking <laughs> <Yeah>. actually <laughs> because I do not know the images behind me uh, are probably uh, don't know that answer. What is that? General. General. The the thing is the the thing is that we we actually wanted to present uh, the song in a most universal kind of way. So there's a lot of earth uh, images going behind I believe and uh, um, all that that's natural Grand Canyon as well I think it is so uh, to keep it a, a most natural way possible yeah yeah so literally in the most yeah. literally yeah. literal way because we are just a tiny little humans in here visit visiting this planet and we must uh, tell it that way because you have that in your video as well, like a lot of nature, and it comes back on the stage with a lot of nature, I yeah, think. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Does that answer your question? I hope so. Um, does somebody else still have a question here in, of all the journalists here? We are going back to the questions online. So this one is from ESC Beat. It's Doran. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Duran. And uh, the question is: Hi, Anna. Can you tell us about the first moment when you've heard "Amen"? The first moment. Well, I was overwhelmed because Tony Maserati did the mix and mastering, <laughs> and he he did it extremely well. I mean, the sound is the way it's supposed to be. So, um, and the background singers. I, I've told you a couple of days before. Uh, woke up in tears. I mean, that was my one of my biggest uh, dreams to have that kind of a choir in my original music. So, um, so there were real tears when you heard it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. I mean, it's going to be uh, uh, such a gorgeous memories, uh, looking you know further on and years behind, and to see uh, uh, all the story and everything wrapped like perfectly. Yeah. But first, the upcoming days, how are they going to look for you? What is going to happen for you the next couple of days? Are you still going to try to have uh, some relaxing moments? Or are you going to do a lot of practice? Both, I Both. would say. Yeah. A combination. Yeah, a combination. L try to yeah. relax. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Anna, I would really like to thank you. And of course, your team. It is time for your press moment. But first, I would like a lovely applause for the delegation of and Slovenia. And applause for you as well. <laughs> so Anna, thank you if you would head over there for a press moment and I would kindly ask the photographers to go there as well. Please keep your distance and it's photos only today. Thank you.